We are looking at a live picture from Lynchburg from our Liberty University sky cam. Nothing but blue skies today. An absolutely gorgeous day to be outside. Felt like fall out there. However, over the next 24 to 48 hours, the mercury is going to go up. Let's head on over now and show you that it is a clean sweep on the radar. We're not going to be worried about any sort of rain tonight. We're going to be dry all night long. We're going to be dry throughout the day tomorrow as well. Reason being, we're kind of surrounded by high pressure systems. One off the coastline of Virginia, the other one near Lexington, Kentucky. And so we're going to, I think, have a lot of sunshine again in the forecast for us come tomorrow. And look at that high again, a little bit warmer. But look at Thursday. Oh boy, 85 degrees. It's going to feel like summer out there as you head into Thursday and really even as you head into Friday temperatures are going to stay on the warm side because of this high pressure system. We're looking dry on Thursday as well. So here we go. Future tracker showing that overnight tonight we are looking mostly clear. Wednesday will start out I think with a lot of sunshine as we head into uh, Wednesday afternoon. We're still looking at mainly sunny skies as we head into Wednesday night. We are looking at fair skies. Thursday will start out with a lot of sunshine, but by Thursday afternoon it would not surprise me if we start to see a few more clouds, especially as you head north into the Allegheny Highlands. Great night tonight to see the space station. All right, you can uh, see it tonight looking to the north northwest at around 723. It's visible for two minutes. It will disappear out of the sky to the north. Just an unbelievably perfect night to see the space station again. Just a couple of minutes before 730 from 723 to 725. Happy viewing to all you sky watchers out there. The lack of rain lately has made the pollen relatively high. We're dealing with ragweed right now. Wednesday, it doesn't look like it's going to be all that high, but those uh, numbers in the ragweed department go up as we head into Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Notice those numbers go down on Sunday. Reason being by Sunday, Yes, indeed, we may have the chance for some rain, but Monday looks to be uh, the wettest out of the next seven days. 66 in Hot Springs at 74 in Withville, 77 at this hour in South Boston. Very pleasant outside. So what's happening this week? We have the jet stream way up to the north. The jet stream is kind of bisecting where the cooler air is to the north from where the warmer air is to the south. We've got a high pressure system over Texas. Another one will be uh, situated out off the coastline of Florida, not too terribly far away, honestly, from Bermuda. So as we head into into the latter part of this work week, we're going to absolutely see a huge warm up and that warm up will likely last into at least part of the weekend. So if you're wanting one more taste of summer, I ask for your patience for just a couple of days. That jet stream is the main reason because it's going to be so far to the north. It's going to lift to the north over the course of the next 24 hours. For tonight, clear and crisp overnight lows in the 40s to near 50. Then as we head into the day tomorrow, we are looking at temperatures in the 70s and 80s. Looks like we're going to have a day tomorrow where we're Again, going to see bright blue skies. Get outside and enjoy tomorrow. Looks like we're in store for a pretty nice rest of the work week forecast. Maybe a few more clouds on Thursday, especially north. Friday and Saturday, we are looking mostly sunny. Sunday, we will have the chance for some passing showers with the best chance for rain coming on Monday and Tuesday of next week because of a coastal low. Notice also when those rain chances go up, the temperatures will go down.